Good morning this Wednesday, the 14th of September. I'm Grady Wolf, a market analyst with Bell Direct. US markets snapped the recent rally overnight following the release of key inflation data for August, showing the world's largest economy's inflation rate hit 8.3% for the month, which is a decline from July's 8.5%, but above market expectations of 8.1%. Investors sharply sold out of stocks broadly on Wall Street overnight over concerns that the Fed will take even more aggressive action to cool inflation by raising interest rates further. The Dow Jones fell 3.3%, the Nasdaq plunged 4.35% and the S&P 500 fell 3.52%. The sell-off extended over to London, where the FTSE 100's green run came to an end, with the index falling 1.17%, while Germany's DAX closed the day down 1.6% and the French CAC lost 1.4%. Ukraine's recent advances and counterattacks in the nation's recaptured area brings it to 6,000 square kilometres recaptured, which has impressed the White House and other Western allies. From a markets perspective, global markets just want to see de-escalation of tensions to help stabilise inflation and cool the global energy crisis. Locally, the global energy crisis has driven demand for Australian-based energy stocks, with the sector up 37.36% year-to-day as countries look for new supply, de supply deals sorry, with Australian providers, which we've already seen through Woodside signing a supply agreement for the supply of LNG with Europe. This year, the energy sector is one of just two sectors on the ASX that have posted gains in the current bear market environment. On the commodities front, crude oil is trading almost half a percent lower at 87 US dollars a barrel. Natural gas is up almost 1%. Gold is trading more than 1.2% lower at 1703 US dollars an ounce, and iron ore is flat around 104 US dollars a tonne. Ahead of the local trading day, ASX Futures is expecting the market's green streak to come to an end today, with the futures expecting a fall of 1.75% to start the trading day on the back of that sharp sell-off on Wall Street overnight. On the economic data front for today, UK inflation data for August is released this afternoon, with the market expecting an increase to 10.2% from 10.1% in July. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Bell Potter maintains a buy rating on the A2 milk company and has increased its share price target from $6.35 to $6.60 following recent market updates, including its New Zealand baby formula manufacturer, Sinlate Milk, having its license to produce baby formula for the Chinese market extended until February 2023. Bell Potter says if A2M can execute on its strategy to achieve $2 billion New Zealand dollars in FY26 and a bit demand margins in the teens, then it would imply compound double-digit growth through to FY26. And Trading Central has identified a bullish signal on brambles following a pattern forming over a 15-day period, which is roughly the same period of time in which the price target should be or may be achieved between the range of $13.10 to $13.40 per share from the close of $12.08, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all for this morning. I'm Grady Wolf with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy investing.